Welcome back to the Weekly Ranking Show. My name's Cam Williams, and with some big names playing last week, and Wimbledon only just around the corner, we have some big changes to the rankings for the next couple of weeks. And of course, with Wimbledon not worth any ranking points, these could be the last changes to the rankings we see for a couple of weeks now. So let's start with the players that won last week. We had four tournaments, two on the men's, two on the women's side. Let's go have a look at who actually won last week. Starting with the WTA at the Labima Open in the Netherlands. Alexandrova defeated Sabalenka 7-5-6 love, which is really interesting because both those players can't actually play at Wimbledon. So good result there for both of them, but unfortunately, they won't be playing Wimbledon. Over the Nottingham Open, Adid Meyer won her first title, defeating Risk in the final 6-4-1-6-6-3. And she got a boost in the rankings after winning that tournament. Over on the men's side at the Ross Marlin Open, we had Van Rijthoven beating New World number one, Medvedev, which we'll talk about in a second. He won 6-4, 6-1 in his first ever tournament on the ATP. So what a week he had. He actually beat a couple of good players along the way as well. And at the Stuttgart Open, Matteo Berrettini. Successful comeback for him. He hasn't played since Indian Wells. He defeated Andy Murray in the final. Unfortunately, Murray got injured in that final, but it was still a very close one. 6-4, 5-7, 6-3. Berrettini lifting another trophy in Stuttgart. Let's start with the WTA rankings for this week. And no major changes because most of these players didn't play. With Iga Swiatek obviously stays at number one. She is still dominating the rankings. I don't think she'll be dropping down anytime soon. Contivate, she's at number two still. With Badosa at number three. Jabor at number four. But we have a change in the middle. With Maria Sakkari going down to number six. Arena Sabalenka going up to number five. After Sabalenka had a very good week getting to a final on grass. And Sakkari didn't have the greatest week last week. So she got rewarded in the rankings. Sabalenka. Number seven is Plushkova. Pagula comes in at number eight with Collins at number nine and Muguruza rounds out the top 10 for this week. Having a look at the race to the finals, the WTA finals, and we already have one player qualified. Iga Sviantek is qualified for the WTA finals, which is happening in like five months time. So she is obviously the best player on the planet right now. And she's the first person, man or woman, to qualify for the finals. Coming in number two is Ons Jabor. Bagula comes in at three with Goff at number four. Badossa stays at number five. Zachary stays at number six. Kazakina at number seven. Collins at eight. But we have a change down the bottom with Kudamatova, who got to a semi-final last week on the grass courts. She goes up to number nine, pushing down keys to number 10. And a lot of these players are actually playing over the next two weeks before Wimbledon. So we might see some changes to these rankings over the next week or so. A couple of the players that got rewarded last week for great results. We had Hadid Meyer, of course, winning her first title. She goes up to number 32 in the world. A career high for her, 16 spots higher than last week. And Zhang, she goes up to number 46 in the world, eight spots higher than last week. And with her game, I'd be very, very worried to play her in the first rounds of Wimbledon. So watch out for Zhang over the next few weeks. Some of the players that have gone down in the rankings, Paulini, she's gone down 10 spots to number 72. And Rus has gone down nine spots, number 86. Not real big contenders over the next few weeks you don't expect, but still some big drops for those two players. Having a look at the ATP rankings, and there are some massive changes after points were dropped for some big names. Daniel Medvedev, he is back to the number one spot, going up one spot higher than last week because a lot of points were dropped by Novak Djokovic. And despite not playing for the next couple of months, Alexander Zverev is at a career high ranking at number two in the world. And what a shame it is that he can't play Wimbledon because he would have been the number one seed at Wimbledon had he been healthy. So Alexander Zverev, a bit of a sweet moment. Career high ranking, unfortunately not in action at the moment. And Novak Djokovic, he's down at number three, two spots lower than last week after dropping all those points from the French Open last year. Speaking of French Open, number four is Rafa Nadal. He stays at number four. With Kasper Ruud going up one spot to number five, which is a career high for him, pushing Sizi Pass down number six, who dropped those points from the French Open last year. Alcaraz coming in at number seven with Rublev at number eight. Ogier Eliassim at nine. And the Stuttgart champion, Berrett Tini, he stays at number 10 for the rankings for this week. Having a look at the race of the final, and we have no change from last week. With Rafa staying at number one, Elkrez at number two, City Pass, he stays at number three, Kasper Ruud at four, Zverev at five, Rublev at six, FAA, he stays at number seven, Medvedev, despite making the final in Holland, he stays at number eight. Djokovic stays at number nine, and Taylor Fritz, he stays at number 10 in the race to the ATP Finals. Having a look at some of the players that have gone up in the rankings this week after a very good week, Andy Murray, he's gone up 21 spots to number 47 in the world, back into the top 50, and unfortunately got injured, but if he does end up playing over the next couple of weeks, he could push for a seed at Wimbledon. And the fairy tale story of the week, Van Rijthoven going up 99 spots to 106 in the world, a career high for him. And if he plays well over the next couple of weeks, he might just get direct entry into Wimbledon. But I'm sure after last week, he'll be getting a wild card for sure because he had a an amazing week. And what a fairy tale story that'll be going to Wimbledon. Some of the players that have gone down in the rankings, the Swiss, 
have gone down, with Roger Federer going down 18 spots to number 68 in the world. We all know Federer is going to drop down a lot lower than that over the next few weeks, but we'll keep an eye on Federer. Down to number 68 at the moment. And Stan Wawrinka, he's gone down to number 317 in the world. 27 spots lower than last week. So both the Swiss really struggling at the moment due to not playing. But Stan should be playing over the next few weeks. Unfortunately for Federer, his ranking is only just getting worse. So there it is, the rankings for another week. Are you surprised by anyone? Let me know down in the comments below. Of course, we don't have any points for Wimbledon, but the lead-up tournaments do have points. So we are going to see some changes over the next few weeks. And of course, with points dropping off from the French Open last year, and also with Wimbledon points about to drop off as well, all of that is going to change over the next few weeks. And it's going to be interesting to see what the rankings look like during Wimbledon and after Wimbledon. Again, let me know down in the comments below. Who are you most shocked about not being in the rankings? or?